you will drop as many rams as they have down in about three mortar shots. Three mortar shots, guys. You're talking about 10 seconds, considering the cooldowns on the mortars is about four seconds. Let's say 12 to 15 seconds, you can have all their siege down. That hits harder User than a superior. I think it hits harder than a superior treb, by the way. And a superior treb hits very, very hard. Um, so remember, that pointer that that defends that tower. If I throw down over here, see this Wild Creek is the only tower that requires siege. So if you guys stay on the wall, stay on the wall. If I throw a, where is it? Uh, let's put it right there. Can I throw down siege? Or are we siege capped? User in your no, there we go. Recording. There we go. Build that, guys. User if you guys have supply, channel. drain supply from here. If you don't have supply, User drain it and build channel. that. User joined your channel. Okay, this treb is the only siege that you need to build to defend anything else. If I turn this right towards the the center of the, uh, if you see the arch of the bridge leading uh, behind the guild lord room. And if I put this at about 30, maybe 40 percent, no, I think it's User a little harder than that. Channel. Yeah, a little harder than that. If you put this at about 40 percent, roughly, so let's see that. That'll hit directly to the side of the gate. Watch that. If you fuck even a, a little harder. <laughs> anyway, just fiddle around with it, guys, and you can. You can figure it out yourselves. I mean, um, it's it's very very easy to, to defend. See that splash damage would have taken out some of the rams on the gates as well. Um, you could also go hit them from above if you turn that, maybe two ticks to the left like this, and go at 60%. You could hit right on top of the gate. Um, watch this. Right on top of the gate. Ah, oh, fuck, it's more than that. It's about 70. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, you, guys. You, you just choose the, the most difficult tower to trap, to be honest. <laughs> it is, it is. It's, it's not <laughs> it's easy. the most difficult it's, of all four. It is, it, it's not easy. There you go. Boom, yeah, straight onto true. it. If you turn that to the... If you face that directly to the left side of the, the dome, and watch this trap shot. I'm hoping it's faced correctly. You put that at around 90% and you will take out any catapults on the gate. If, uh, sorry, on the... You know oh. if they put catapults on the wall? No, that's a little too far. Move it two ticks to the right. Yeah. And just go at 100%. You can... Any, anything straight up on this tower. Unless they're catting this from inside dredge, you can defend it with this tower, with this treb. 100%. There you go. Watch that shot. If somebody was there, they would have saw that land right to the side of the gate, uh, right to the side of the wall. Moving on, User this next mortar, from your channel. this next mortar over here can defend two towers by itself. This can defend this can defend Cloven and Jerifers. Face it directly at the gate. Face it directly at the gate. Go full power, and that'll hit the gate directly. User joined your channel. Look at that. Watch where that lands. Right on the gate, guys. See that? Three shots. Three shots is all it takes to destroy superior... Uh, two shots for normal siege. I think it's maybe three or four shots for superior rams. Three shots if you for normal, four shots for superior. There you go. Yep. Thank you for correcting me, Nix. Aim that She's towards the gate here. Yeah. No, she is. She's definitely good. Um, aim that towards the gate. I think it was 60, 60, 50 to 60 percent. User joined your channel. There you go. Straight at the gate again, guys. That's 50 percent. If it was 60, it would have hit directly on the gate. Three pieces of siege can defend four towers, guys. Very, very easily. Unless they're doing something special, like a cutting right behind the wall or, or something like that, we'll actually have time to get there. But if they're throwing down rams on a gate, I don't. Us commanders don't need a whole zerg to pull off to defend against four User or five rams on a gate. One person, one person, manning one of these mortars or the treb down there, can defend by himself, hold off a whole zerg. It's very, very, very critical that everyone knows about this because when a commander asks you, man the treb, man the treb, or man the mortar. 
some people might not know and it's not wrong that you don't know it's just our it's our role to teach you what it is and that's what we're doing here today so four towers with ease defended from our keep very safe territory no one can kill you you don't even need to go anywhere near the towers um putting in extra siege sometimes guys now that they've moved off the buff i mean they moved up the the buff to a minute um, it, uh, sorry, uh, an hour, I said a minute. User um, your channel. It makes life a lot easier. Um, so many times I've dropped, I went from 120 superior arrow cuts this week, I'm on 29 now. That's with donations, by the way. That's how many arrow cuts I have put up and despawned. But now that the buff is up, I mean, it's, it's going to help us out a whole lot. Um, let's move into here, guys. Um, trebs can be set up inside here, by the way. We can set up trebs on the top of the dome. On the sorry, not the dome. The uh, on the top of the lord's. Uh, you know that concrete piece of shit that's standing on top of him, uh, protecting him from yeah. the sun, protecting him from the sun, so he doesn't get a sunburn. Um, you can set up trebs on top of there that can defend towers as well, very easily, guys. Um, over here, if I jump down, sorry guys, jump. The whole purpose I'm coming up here is not to go up to the top, guys. We know that we can put things down there, but down here, if you jump down here, just down here. If somebody puts up a catapult here, one catapult, same thing, exact same purpose as a mortar. I can throw a catapult down here and catter the gate and all the, all the rams uh, that are on the gate as well. I can, I can throw down one arrow cart, one arrow cart over here. And one superior arrow cart can take down all their rams. Right May here. I add something to this? Yeah, definitely. Go ahead. Uh, there's a spot right up here where Prion is. Um, you can set up, if you have the Ballista Master, you can set up a Ballista and it can also take down any any rams or anything on uh, Alden's over there. By all means. By all means. I mean, uh, that's that's something that's, uh, that's going to come as well. Like, uh, we're here to teach them, so anyone that has anything to add, by all means, go ahead. If you have a special thing that you guys use, teach everyone, guys. Don't don't hold it to yourself. We're here as a community. This isn't a TSM workshop. This is a, a server, an oceanic workshop. So we're here to to teach each other um, how to defend, how to attack, um, how to what mind what. Well, when I, when we get to our class masters, they're going to teach you guys how to uh, how to trade up and. You know what, guys? Nine times out of ten, um, the builds that you use in World v World can also be used in PVE. I know sometimes you might need to run full Zerkers for dungeons and stuff, but it's like four silver, guys. It's it's it doesn't cost much. It costs maybe five minutes of your time to to retrate, um, and it costs four silver, which you can make by killing one black gate, or well, not one black gate, by taking a tower. If you guys take one tower that whole night, that'll pay back for retrading. <laughs> Um, so yeah, does anyone else have like something to add, like any siege spots that they can use to, to defend, um, to defend our ship basically? Uh, the top of the vista, it's hard to yep. get up there, but putting a trap up there, it, it can really benefit, um, both Alden's and Jarifer's. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a, it's a bitch to, to get up there. Yep. The other one fatality that not a lot of people utilise is in um, SM when it's uh, got cannons upgraded. Go to the third floor and use the cannons, especially if people are um, on the inner, or not on the inner, but on the um, outer wall, attacking the inner wall. Yep. You'll be amazed at how many kills you'll get, or bags you'll get, by using those cannons. Yeah, we'll go. We're actually about to go there. This was our corner. Let's go towards SM and speak about defending SM as well. Um, that... Before we go there, I got some more yep. stuff to throw for here. Go right ahead, now. yeah, yeah. Before we go to SM, let's do let's do the keep uh, and our corner. If you drop drop down right by the front gate here, if uh, I've seen golems go to Watergate before, and if a ballista is set on each side of the bridge, you can take out any golems that are on the gates. And they can't AOE from right here because right. they can't AOE from the water. So exactly. Sorry, could you could you chuck a tag up? Have you got a tag? Um, Nyx is jumping on top of me right now. Uh, Ronar, can you come over here real quick? And tag up for me? Right there. Oh, right here? 
right there. Yep. So uh, if you throw a ballista here on each side, one on each side, you can hit the water gate. And any sorry, I don't see it... right. I don't see his tag for some reason. Well, back I'm off, Ronark. Back off, Ronark. Let him stand there. By oh, there it is. Sorry, no, I've just appeared. My bad. Roger. No problem. Yep. We we'll put a yeah, ballista I see over here. One ballista on each side, aiming at the water gate for any oil rushes for the water gates. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And the number three ability on a ballista, if you guys didn't know, just absolutely devastates siege. I think the only thing you can take it out is if they put like a AC up over on this side. I think. I don't think they can even take those out because they can't AOE around the corner. Next, did you see number three ability or number two? The number three ability. The number two okay. is good because it gives you a little more distance, but if you can get it close enough, that number three ability, it, it just wrecks siege. That's why, yep. like, um, when we were in the north uh, east tower, we always put a ballista up uh, where the mortar is. That is why. Uh, you can, if they just drop it, they drop the build site, and you hit it with the number three, it's a gone build site. It doesn't exist anymore. Yep. Yep, which is why, guys, as well, like, sometimes we'll be sieging towers that have ballistas. Um, ballistas can be eaten by people in front of them. So if we have an AC up, let's say, for argument's sake, if we have an AC up and there's a ballista shooting at it, get in between the ballista and the siege and just jump. Eat the bullet. Just yeah. eat the bullet. That's all you need to do. And uh, it just hits you and it doesn't touch the siege. Um, but that's another thing, guys. Um, but anywhere else, anywhere else we need to... Anyone... Like, I didn't know about those ballistas, so that's something new I've learned today. You could probably chuck one over here. Uh, is that correct? Where I'm jumping? Somewhere here? The only problem with that is I think they can AOE it from the water. Yeah. I mean, if, it's not they a could shoot, They could shoot up with their water abilities if they got some range on it, like, um... Mm -hmm. uh, tridents and so, so on. But that's also, the one thing, if you keep it back a little further on the land over mm -hmm. here, they can't, um, AOE it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, there you go. Um, anywhere else? Anyone else know? Yeah, like... Always one arrow part for the water gate, but I haven't seen in tier one. I've seen less roller marshes on water gate than I have when we were in lower tiers. Mm -hmm. Uh, if there is nothing else, then we'll head over to SM quickly, and then we'll jump over to SOR Borderlands and go through all that. We'll go through defending all three keeps. There was just a big zerg that rolled right here, so keep an eye on. Roger. Let me know if anyone sees anything happening, we'll, we'll react to that. User in your channel stopped recording. Lol. I thought he was like physically recording, like with fraps. No, he's recording the. No, no, I'm, I've Who's got fraps coming. That was someone else. My Who's recording? It was Cosmic, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody asked me to do a podcast of this, and I was like, ah, uh, okay. User <laughs> left your channel. Should be useful though, because there are a lot of people that are not uh, yeah, yeah. online the whole time. So maybe yeah. it's indeed. You cannot um, miss right. way. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely, I'm fine by that. Um, just. Uh, Blur my face. No, I'm joking then. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Blur his face, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, number one. Uh, guys, do not stress and scream like little girls if we are getting treb. If SM's getting treb, I mean, this is like... I, I don't mean to be rude. This is the slut of being treb, basically. It's always being treb. If it's not treb, then there's something wrong. Then we'll there is something wrong. Right now. Um, then you should be worried. If it's not being trebbed, you should be worried because they should, they're should they putting their supply into something else. Um, it means that, yeah. Guys, if they're on inner and they enter the breach... See, look, look, look. It's being trebbed right now, guys. You can sit here and watch this all day. You could sit here and watch this all day. Don't don't be afraid and don't, don't start screaming, Oh, it's being trebbed. 
let them know when somebody's coming in or say, all right, this wall is down now. Be 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 aware, guys. Um, it's nice to have reports, but if the wall if the wall is down, then so be it. Um, we're not going to bring. This is a liability in some cases, guys. SM SM uh, is not a priority to be honest. Every commander has their their points of view on this, um, your channel. but if it comes between saving something else and SM, they're going to save that other T3 because SM is a very huge liability. It takes a lot of manpower to, to hold it. Um, if you hold User it, it's a bonus. If you don't hold it, I mean, it's not the last, it's not the end of the world. Um, but in terms of protecting this, guys, um, like he said, cannons on the third floor, guys, those things those things wreck guys and there's no AOE cap on them so if you just shoot a frost uh, a frost shot and slow them down and you just follow up with something else um, you're honestly gonna you're gonna get them to half health without without like moving a muscle basically uh, it's very critical that you guys do that um, another thing is guys we don't usually throw a lot of siege on SM until it gets hit um, so the Lord's Rim might have siege but you're not going to siege up every single gate until it does get hit, guys. Um, what I have to say is, now that it's up to an hour, I think we can, as commanders, actually throw down siege because um, the hour gap will will give people sp User like time to, to refresh it. And this is a good thing, guys. Make sure if you're User running, let's say you channel. respawned in SM or any tower for, for any giver's sake, click on a siege. Click on one siege and see what time it is. More nine times out of ten, all siege will be refreshed at the same time. If that thing says five minutes, all the siege in the tower or the keep are going to be five minutes. Not just that one siege. If it says fifteen minutes, all right. If you refresh that, that gives another person an extra fifteen minutes in case somebody doesn't come. Let's say for for any given sake, we're on the offense and the tower has four superior arrow cards, guys. You went past and it said 15 minutes. If we're on the offense, we're not going to turn around to go back to there just to refresh the siege. Go in there, refresh it. It gives an extra 15 minutes to actually get another person in there. It Sorry. gives another... It gives No, that's good, man. Uh, it gives another person 15 minutes to, to walk into that to actually refresh the siege again. Um, it's a good thing they refreshed. They, they made it an hour now because I was throwing in a lot of a lot of money into Siege guys, and it wasn't being refreshed. Um, but it's it's all good. Uh, it's not something I'm complaining about. It's uh, something we just need to work on, guys. Um, all right. I've so... actually been using when I scout a online timer. You can set yes. the timer. Um, I usually set it five minutes prior to when the siege is supposed to despawn. That way I have time to run around and collect all the siege that I need to tap. But they, you can set it to whatever time you want, and it User chimes a very distinct, clear sound, letting you know to fucking tap the siege. And I, I've been using it, and if you can get your other scouts kind of tuned in with you, you can just have one timer and somebody say, okay, it's time to tap. And it's been minutes, extremely right? helpful. Is it every seven minutes? Uh, it's every hour now. But you know, yep. it, it, that's been really that's been a really helpful tool, especially for uh, yeah, scouting and defending. Yeah, the other day, and I've been using it ever since, and I mm -hmm. won't go back to anything else. Yep. Like I said, guys, if you're walking past the siege, look at the timer, guys. If it says if it's only five minutes down, and you have time, refresh it. I mean, it's it's not a biggie. But if it has half the time that's available, even if it has thirty minutes, guys. What are the odds if you went in there and took two seconds of your time to refresh four or five pieces of siege and gave them an extra 30 minutes of life basically then I'm pretty sure it's worth it even though it's an hour guys don't neglect it guys there's there's gonna be a time where no one's gonna visit any of the towers for that half an hour period so let's say we're attacking their channel. keep or something no one's gonna enter a tower to refresh the siege if you go past it then Refresh it guys. Don't don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. That's something I need to emphasize. Don't be lazy about that um, Don't think that oh, someone else will walk past and refresh it. Just do it yourself guys It only takes two seconds of your time and you can get back to where you needed 
Um, so another thing, guys, sieging up, sieging up here, um, nine times out of ten, I will throw down arrow carts in the center. All right, when they're breached, we'll hold them at the choke with them. If for any given sake they do get in, the best point I find is to have a superior arrow cart right here. Um, right here, I don't know, every, I've defended this multiple channel. times with two superior arrow carts on one side, just here. I've defended it from a double attack on SM from here, right here. User disconnected um, from your channel. It's, it's really useful. Um, you've got a clear view of the every single opening. You've got a clear view. Um, and if you have your team around you defending you, I mean, those arrow cards can really, really put a hurting on them. Hey, Fatality. I want to add something. Yep. User left your channel. Is there any um, Mesmer's or Thieves or Ellie that can link? Come to the skill point. Uh, skill point. So, where is this? Skill point, uh, skill SM. Point. Roger. When you're facing the skill point, notice that there's two curtain thingies on the side, left and right. If you stand right underneath it and you aim your blink at the tip of the red um, drapes or curtain, you can User blink up to the second floor. Straight away, no time wasted. Oh wow. That's how I sneak in. And from second to third floor, under the mystic porch, you can try. Replenishing. Just target under the mystic porch. Oh, there you go. To target the tip, the tip of the curtain, red color curtain. On the right hand side. Now where for the mystic? Left porch? or right, both of it. Beside the skill point, um, inside SM. By the way, guys, after this, after we finish this defensive um, sieging, we shouldn't take too long on SM. I mean, um, it's nice to know uh, a few bits and pieces on, on siege. Um, but we want to get SOR Borderlands out of the way and then split up into our class masters. So let's not take too long doing, um, like, going off track. Um, that's something you need you to teach them maybe channel. in the class master, if that's possible, man. If, if you want to be User, a class master and teach all the Mesmers, um, instead of just the ones who, who, who just, um, do you get what I mean? If you want to teach everyone, it'd he's be the, really good. He's the best Mesmer in the game, so I think he'd be pretty good for it. No, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it's up oh, to man. you, man. <laughs> it's up to you, honestly. I'm not going to pressure you. I mean, if you're the best, then, I mean, everyone wants to learn, man. User disconnected. Um, I can right, well, I might not have the time. Uh, it's just honestly, right now it'd probably be in about half an hour. In about half an hour's time, let's go to SOR Borderlands and then you can spend half an hour um, just giving them the ropes and stuff like that uh, on being a Mesmer. And I mean, later on, if somebody has a question, man, uh, they, they'd probably ask you when you're online, not when you're off. User so. disconnected from your channel. It's up to you. Oh, it's up to you guys. Um, let's move on, guys. Um, like I said, on the ramps, two arrow cards down there can help you defend the center, center of the Lord's Room. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, it's obvious, guys, arrow cards. Unless there's something really special that uh, you guys know about SM, an arrow cart location um, that's not standard, um, by all means, speak up. Um, otherwise, let's just head off to SOR Borderlands and, and go from the there. The third floor, um, on those little balconies where, the, where we usually toss treads. That's yep. a great place for both a catapult, a ballista, or an AC. Um, especially with the extended range of all that stuff now, uh, it's a really amazing place to put an AC. Um, yep. The inner mortars on the third floor. Um, a lot of people forget about these, but people always put catapults or something up on the third floor. Um, and you can't hit these mortars, if we have mortars at the time, that is. Um, yep. They usually spawn, like, right here, um, between the, uh, sort of the little balconies that stick out. Yep, but yep. Just a little tap, and you can cover almost all of SM with mortar fire. 
Yep. Uh, it's really good to have. It's also, there's a mortar inside SM. I believe it's on the third floor that can hit any trap they put up at closing. So, Roger. it's food for thought. Yeah, definitely, you, guys. I'll show you an AC spot, I'll be there in a minute. Alright, um, The AC that you put on the stairs, or the ramps, I should say, uh, facing the Lord's room, the mm -hmm. only thing I'd like to add to that is um, I see somebody threw the AC down right as you said it. Um, keep the AC back from the edge a little yes. bit. That way they can't AOE from below. Yep, yep. They should be parallel to each other, one down and one up. So maybe away from each other, don't put them too close so that they, if one field is down, it doesn't hit both. But yeah, 100% correct. This is way too close. Um, usually when I set them up, they're usually back here, around here, the center of it. Usually around the center and far back towards the wall. You're right. You can throw them back here. I mean, I, this is Mike. I mean, if you're going to defend the Lord's room, you can put them channel. back here. Instead of like just putting them in the center of the Lord's room, like you can throw them back here. That way they... Like, it's not as obvious. Yep, like, I'm yep definitely. Here. The, the, center, the siege in the center is, is necessary because what it does is it holds them in the choke. User when they push channel. through the choke, that's when the siege on the ramps are, are, are where you need to be. These things are 100% necessary. You can hold all three chokes uh, no matter where they're coming from. I mean, they're not going to come from I mean, all three. I feel like it's best to put them actually like off the side where you can... Paying your camera to be able to see the chokes, that way it's they're yep, still yep. not as obvious, you know, like if they're yeah, right yeah, in the definitely. center, it's like you just get run over, like, first yep. thing is they're going to rush to the center. Yeah, somewhere around here, if you look, if you put as it long somewhere as you can here. cover the choke, yeah. Yeah, one, one arrow cart on each choke should be good, yeah. The only good thing about these ones in here is that they can have visual on all three chokes, that's the only positive about them. Um, you can hold all three chokes uh, with all the siege. See, if I put this over there, like where I was standing, if I put an arrow cart, let's say, right here, uh, it won't be able to defend the... If I put an arrow cart here, this is the northern choke, I won't be able to defend the southeast choke or the southwest choke as much. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So that's the only positive about having them in the room. And to be honest, I'm not really concerned about them seeing the siege. It's actually better that they do, because it puts it strikes a bit of fear into them, um, especially with a ballista. I mean, ballistas are really scary when you're coming through a choke. They could honestly down your the front five to ten people could go down into a down state you just from the ballistas. So um, it's really it's 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 a good idea. Um, it's just. Uh, I, I would, it's just a preference. Like I said, uh, each commander does have a preference. Right now, I just want to get basics across to everyone, and if you have, like, a special, a special place to put something, guys, it's a great time to let us know. Alright, um, if nobody has any other Aracart spots or Catapult Treb spots other than the usual ones, um, I think we can move to e I think we can move to SOR. I will teach you guys something as well. Uh, something that we've come uh, come up to, guys. If you follow me, follow me, guys. Can I have a mesmer as well? I'm gonna need mesmers with me. Let's say on on offense, right? Let's just since we're here, I'll quickly go through some offensive things in in this situation, guys. Right? So they've got siege in the center of the Lord's room. All right, we've got about 50 guys on a dime here waiting to get in, right? We could run across. Oh, sorry, all... he is doing it now, in right. EB, yeah, in SM. But we're about to move to SOR. But uh, at the moment, we're still in SM. I think you're in the wrong <laughs> chat. The wrong <laughs> sorry, I thought you were following following on. I think you're in the wrong chat. I think you're in the wrong chat, man. Oh, he's talking to someone with him. It's all right. It's all good. Uh, in a scenario like this, guys, and we're, we're looking to get into the Lord's Room, we've got 50 people here, no matter which side we go through, we're going to get hit by Siege, yes? So what we do, right, we keep their, we keep their, like, we keep them looking here, like, what we do is we get a Mesmer. Mesmer, drop a portal on me right here, alright? Now, follow me, guys, alright, we're, pretend we're at this choke and we're showing them that, oh, look at that, User right? Left your channel. Follow me, zoom, Mesmer, zoom all User the way in and channel. follow. Zoom all the way in and follow me. If you can run as a pact with a, with about a thief or something, right? 
go all the way around, right, while everyone's distracting them there. Obviously, you don't want to die. <laughs> That's number one. Okay, what you want to do is find another entrance, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to drop us in. So what you do, you get to here. Usually when they're looking at the other side, they won't be paying attention to here. So you come in here, you blink in, double dodge, veil, no, do what you need to do, in SM. and drop a portal about about here, right here. Drop a portal here. And maybe you can still also ask uh, a few He's in the that open space with you. room on SORTS. That... It has to be where I showed you guys. It has to be at the entrance, otherwise it won't activate. If you put it anywhere, like let's say we were on the other side and we put it inside here, inside the choke, it won't activate, guys. It's out Who's of range. It has channel? to be inside the Lord's room, just directly here somewhere. Do you get what I mean? So you drop it outside, you run around to another entrance. All right, so you drop it here, run around. And then pretend this is the other entrance, you come in, you blink, double dodge, what you need to do, drop it bang right on top of me, right in here. And then you got the whole Zerg just coming in without them even knowing. So that's just a, a counter to, to the siege User in the center. Um, something that we've come up with, guys. So you're more than welcome to keep that in mind and use that for your guilds as well. Um, so let's get everyone support to SOR now. Uh, we're going uh, to SOR now. <laughs> Someone yeah, whispered that just, guy. <laughs> just quickly, um, Fatality, did you show the guys where to actually place things like arrow cuts on User walls? And, from your I'm not uh, sure if everyone here is. It's been pretty standard. Uh, it's, uh, I could if any, if people need to know. Yeah, it's pretty standard though. Um, I was going through some really uh, critical uh, on the walls. I'm not really concerned because people are gonna throw them. Um, more or less in the correct positions um, because it, th there isn't anywhere you can hide one. It's not really a hiding position. You get what I mean? Something secretive. Uh, Alright, let's yeah. start with let's start with Garrison, guys. All port to Garrison. Did anyone hit a Q, by the way? I think Hyde is in here. Also, Fatality. Yeah, Warfors. did anyone hit a Q? I yeah, I think they are. Um, they might be. I'm not sure. No, Lothos is tag. Yeah, it is. It's in here. Yeah, that's alright. Um, let's start with Garrison, guys. Um, number one, Watergate. Let's start here. Everyone push out of Watergate. Standard, standard, guys. You gotta be mindful. There's Inner a Watergate out. is paper, guys. Any, anything past the outer Watergate is gonna be very easy to... If it's a Golem Rush, they're gonna take it very easily, guys. So, be mindful. These arrow cards here are probably the best things to use. Sometimes people like to rush across down here. Alright, make sure you've got a bit of speed. And they like to put an arrow cart or even a ballista right here. And that shit can wreck. Oh, that shit can wreck, guys, honestly. It's it's in range and they can't even do a thing about it. They honestly can't. You've got full range. If you put one, let's say... It, no, you can't put it too close. You've got to put one about, about here, guys. Put it about here. Make sure it's in range of the... No, no, you've got to put it right here. If you put a ballista... You have to make sure you have eyesight of the gate directly, guys. So, an arrow oh. cart is fine. You can put it anywhere. You can even put it down here, guys, an arrow cart. You can put it right here, somewhere where it's hidden. Put it right there. No one will know what the hell's happening, to be honest. Um, and yeah, that's another good thing. So, port, port up to the keep, guys. Everyone port to the keep again. Oh, you put a portal down. <laughs> How's nice. User joined your channel. Uh, again, pretty standard, guys. These User are these are just locations channel. you need to be looking to. The commanders m more or less will drop these, but um, you guys need to look for these positions to to defend it. To not defend, sorry, to man it and to um, to refresh. Over here, one of my favorite arrow carts is right here. Put an arrow cart here. Two, one or two superior arrow carts. If you look over the wall, man that and look over the wall, you can slam people down there you can also hit the other gate as well guys um another arrow cart that serves the same purpose again guys right right up here if you stand down here and throw it right to the right of the gate up top um User i'm not gonna sit here and waste arrow cards if you throw channel. it it'll land properly just go around and build it um, that shit can rain, rain, rain hell on, on both gates as well. 
Um, also, the good thing about this one here, you can also hit the outer wall down there. If you if you follow me, you can also hit the outer wall with it with the increased range. Um, most of the times, you can hit to about. Uh, I think it's this parapet. If you put it there, you can hit all the way to here. That arrow cut can hit all the way to here. Along the wall. All the way along the wall, guys. So, it's a really nice arrow cut to use. Um, you can, you guys all know the third floor, guys. No one needs to, I'm pretty sure no one needs to tell you about those ones. Um, cannons. Cannons are... Oh, that cannon up there, guys. How many times people have tried to rush... And I manned just that cannon, no arrow carts, and absolutely smash it. And the good thing about this one here, the one that James is on, is it's not easily targeted from down there. Only elementalists can hit it with their, uh, with their fire. If they're in fire staff attunement, then they can hit it. Any other attunement, then they can't. Um, so uh, who else can hit it? Can Necros hit it? I'm not sure. Jesus. Well, there you go. It's it's only a few of them, but they can only basic attack it, so it will burn very slowly, um, and it can it can fucking stop a whole team, guys. Again, it can stop a whole team. You don't need to pull the whole zerg to come defend. One person can honestly hold off the whole zerg. It's just we need to be aware of these things. Sometimes we don't know, um, and again, that's why we're here to teach everyone. Um, what else is there? There's the mortars. The mortars, if you follow me, guys. Everyone knows the third floor, guys. Um, I don't really need to tell everyone about that. Um, again, Watergate. Watergate. If they have golems down there, guys, they have they have to be aware that if we have mortars up down here, this mortar down here, tap it. All you need to do is tap it. and 10%. Yeah. 10%. There you go. It's just a tap. It's just a tap. And that shit will hit the gate. There you go. It can remove any siege, guys. Any siege. This can also. This one can also actually hit the the northeastern gate as well, guys. If you turn this all the way around, I don't really like turning them off their the key position. But this, if you turn this all the way, this can actually hit the northeast gate as well. It goes straight over the um straight over the supply depot. I think it was 60% from here. Let's test it. Let me know, guys. Let me know. No, it was more than that. 10% health power. Yep, yeah, there you go. 70, 75%, somewhere around there. And boom, you got the you got the gate. You hit them from the inside, they got no clue what the hell's hitting them. How was that? Perfect. A little, a little, maybe a touch more, not much. But, um... There you go. Hit not hit a hundred percent. If you hit a hundred percent, you should get numbers. Um, but it's it's key key things like this. You don't even need an arrow cut. Um, sometimes you, you you get into this uh, scenario Use where you're the only one in garrison or, or or a keep or something like that, and it takes so long to build an arrow cut. One mortar. If you know that one mortar can hit there, guys, run straight User to it. Don't even bother building channel. arrow cuts. Those things hit like a train. Um, they will down siege from, from, uh, with two or three shots, sometimes even four shots, whatever it is. Other um, numbers. cannons, cannons on golems, three shots of a cannon on a golem will down a whole alpha golem. Three shots, guys. That's how strong they are. Um, like this morning when we didn't have siege, this other mortar that's right above you here, yep. aimed at the northwest gate, actually stopped, uh, two golem rushes, just this only mortar right here. There you go, guys. I'm telling you, be creative, guys. Be aware of these mortars. They are very strong. And in my opinion, they are very underused. Very underused. Definitely, because they got to aim. I mean, it takes a while to practice your aiming and to practice, all right, to, to interpret, all right, how much power do I need roughly from there to the, from this, if I, from this mortar to the northwest gate, how much, how much power do I need? That looks like about... Honestly, guys, if you can stand here, guys. Stand here. Alright? I'll teach you something. I'll teach you something about 4,000 range. Stand here. Click. Try click on the gate, on the northwestern gate. Can you click on it? You can't. Move closer. Move closer. Keep moving closer until you can tap on it. 
Keep moving closer until you can actually select the gate. Or press control. There you go. Stop when you can control it. That is 4,000 range. That there is how far an arrow cart can hit. That is 4,000 range. If you push control, if until you can see that, uh, the, the, the name of the gate and s select it, that is 4,000 range. That's a, that's a tip. So from here, to the, from that mortar to the gate, that's about 6,000 range. Hit it at about 70% 70, 70 power, you should be able to hit the gate, guys. It's it's just a little bit of um, a little bit of interpretation on what how how far the distance is, and you can sort of estimate. Your first shot doesn't have to hit, guys. Your second shot doesn't have to hit. If you can hit, if you can get your third shot, your fourth, and your fifth shot to hit, you could save a whole a whole attack by yourself. Um, it's really really key that everyone starts practicing uh, like how channel. far and know the minor details a little bit um, I mean that 4000 range can help you guys out a lot All right, that's aiming the gate let's go 70% power I estimated 70% power 70% power channel. there let's see how far that goes alright that went over that was an overshot put it down to 50 let's see Directly on the gate, guys. Directly on the gate. That's the second shot. The first shot missed. Who cares? Four second cooldown, guys. Four seconds. Nothing huge. Three or four shots onto the gate could wipe all their siege. All their siege. Oh, while um, you're on this other side by this, yep. um, if they're ever catting crag top, you can use mm -hmm. the other mortar, and that's um, faster than building an AC and User crag top. Our channel. Yep. That User mortar up there, guys, channel. on that outer wall. If they, if they're cutting the side wall, the the south wall of Cragtop, uh, that's what he's talking about. The south wall. You could honestly slam them with this. You don't even need to build a counter trip to them. You can just uh, slam them with this. Is it a hundred percent? A hundred percent will touch the bottom of the wall. There you go. Just to show you guys how far it goes, then. That's a hundred percent. You could do the same thing, I'm guessing. If this mortar can hit the gate... No, that actually hit the wall in the center, guys. So, if you could toy around with a few of them, try and figure out some things. If we move up to this tower up here, um, and it doesn't have mortars or is it just a paper gate? It's reinforced, fortified. It might have uh, mortars. No, I don't think it does. It's got cannons. It doesn't have mortars. No, no, it does have mortars. Um, towers like this, guys, very easily defended, very easily. Two very well-placed arrow carts. One arrow cart could literally be placed back here, can't be seen by anyone, and can rain hell on the gate. As long as you can hit the gate with them User with the arrow cart, it'll destroy all siege. Um, make sure you don't get too close. Some people put arrow carts over here. I know enemies have put trebs here, arrow carts here. That's pretty stupid. You can rain hell on it from right below. Um, the good thing about the arrow cards behind the gate, they can't be counter arrow carded that easily. Um, I know sometimes I put arrow cards up here, but I mean, anyone can put an open field arrow card and take this out if it's not manned. Um, there you go. I mean, move that maybe a tick to the left and get splash damage if you just tap that. Will it get splash damage or is it too far? No, it's too far. It's too far. That doesn't hit yeah. the gate. Okay, guys. Um, I've got a question about where to put trebs from here to garrison. Um, if you want to treb down the wall of garrison, it's it's in the center of this. Center of this ramp and throw it down towards the garrison. Center of this ramp. If you put it up too high, if you put it up here, um, number one, it can be uh, arrow carded very easily from outside. Number two, I think it's very. Sh I think it's a bit short. I'm pretty sure it's a bit short. I throw mine halfway in the ramp. It hits. It hits. It's a hundred percent hit, and it can't be countered very easily. If for any given sake, guys, if for any given sake that 
they're trebbing from here. Follow me. I'll show you how to counter it very easily, guys. Follow me. Very easily, guys. Thre make sure you have a party of five. Somebody has an open mic. Um, follow me. Party of five. Sneak in. Uh, be under a refuge. Try and get in behind them. Jump up here. Try and put a bit of speed. Just to make sure you get up there. You get down here. Oh shit, I fell. Uh, wait, can I... No, you can't do it. You see where blind is? I, I jumped into them myself. <laughs> see where blind is? Throw an arrow cart there and peek around. And you can rain hell on them as well. So, just... Can I get a Mesmer portal up or something? For everyone? Or, uh, better yet? No, no, better yet. It's all good. Thank you. See you guys, if you build this, if you have supply... There. Can you just build it? It's all good. Doesn't matter. You guys get what I mean. Rotate your screen around and and actually. There's another hit. portal below you right into the tower. Thank you. Um. No. You know what? Let's pull back to garrison. We'll go back to the other tower and then move to move to bay. So pull back to garrison, guys. That. Uh, you know what? Would it be easier? No, it doesn't matter. We'll go from here. Grab supply from here, guys. By the way. Uh, it doesn't really matter, so it's, it's almost, it's going to be tapped off. I mean, there's uh, two dollies coming in from the east side. User disconnected from Can I, your um, while we're in garrison, uh, can I show you mm -hmm. one thing? Um, the third floor, if you go up to the third floor vista, and I learned this from TW, mm -hmm. and it is probably one of the best um, pieces of siege you can put up there, is you put a tread, uh, one, yep, yep. A tread by the vista, not on the vista itself, on the third floor though, and you can cat up anything. It is the master tread, or I'm sorry, yeah. You can tread anything that they place in the courtyard and all the way out um, both sides. It also, is... um, come you back a little bit. Car up there and hit it almost all the way back inside the cubby. If uh, you see where I'm jumping, Vitality, I'm right on this yep. edge. Yep, right there. Yep. If you put a tread right here, you can mm -hmm. tread into the cubby, you can tread anything on the west side. Anything they place on the outer walls. Mm -hmm. That yep. is a master, master tread. Right what about there. the east side? Can you tread the east side as well? Um, not as easily. Um, can you move it up maybe a little bit, maybe to here, so that you can? You can. The only Don't. thing I've seen with that is you can't hit the cubby as easy. Yeah, and also you have trouble hitting this gate over here at the west one. Exactly. Uh, Roger. It is, Roger. If you aim it right there, that west gate, they can't place anything on that west gate yeah well yeah definitely definitely guys if you ever see 1700 supply in here um and you feel like throwing an araka or a piece of siege i mean no one's gonna scream at you for taking from 700 supply i mean no one should be screaming at you for anything by the way um but if it's tapped out usually um the best thing to do is to Put up a piece of siege, quickly drain User a bit of supply, because the next dolly that comes in at full supply is wasted supply. User left your channel. Um, so yeah, um, other than that, usually commanders will will do all this minor, the minor things like telling you guys, alright, drain a bit of supply from User here, there's dollies coming in and shit. Um, the northwest tower is pretty standard, guys, let's make this a bit quick so we can go straight to bay. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. I mean, EB by far is the easiest thing to defend. I'm telling you guys, green is probably the best color you could be on. I prefer red. Agreed. I'll let you guys know, but we're currently out manned on um, mm -hmm. EB. Let me throw an upgrade here. Roger, let me know if something does happen, man. Yeah, you know, I'll throw an upgrade had, um, just for... A 20-man BGs are getting around, just taking camps Roger. at the moment. Yep. Guys, again, see what I just did? It was 450 out of 450, guys. Chuck an upgrade if it's needed. Don't wait for anyone to tell you. If you don't know what upgrade is needed, message the commander or message somebody you know. Ask them, what should I put on? Um, we like to go um, waypoint before fortify, so it'll go reinforce. Don't put boiling uh, oil or cannons before before you do reinforce walls. Go reinforce walls, 
Um, then reinforce gates. Uh, what else? And then you go uh, cannons, mortars, waypoint. Um, and then fortify. And in towers, it's basic, basically the same. The only difference is you don't do... Um, uh, you don't really need to do mortars because we don't need a waypoint. Go cannons, then fortify. Go cannons, then fortify. Because cannons, you actually waste time. Picture this going up to a tower. You're about to siege a tower, an enemy tower. If you see cannons, you're not going to put down siege straight away. You're going to say, take out the left cannon, take out the oil, take out this and that, and then, and then I'm going to put siege. So that's about, you're buying approximately 45 seconds to a minute just from having cannons present. Um, actually, in Sunny Hill, I prefer to to mortar before uh, fortify because that mortar it, uh, it, uh, in Sunny Hill uh, is very helpful. It can kill a lot. Um, it can hit the front door if you aim it just right. It hits the front door. It hits the sides. It's it's a very useful tool. So. Um, in cliffside, yep. not so much. The cannon is, or the mortar there is kind of in a funky spot, so it's essentially useless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as Nick said, the mortar here in Sunnyhill, when it hits the front door, is just destroys rams. Yep. Yeah, definitely. De honestly, this is probably like an exception. I don't know what somebody's doing to their keyboard, but Blind it sounds heavy. very aggressive. Um, so yeah, basically, like I'm just trying to explain. All right, the 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 standard of doing it, guys. Go cannons, mortars, then fortify. Don't fortify first. It takes a lot of supply, and nine times out of ten, if you catter, that's going to take forever anyway. So, um, wow, somebody's mic is always open, guys. Come on. Blind hippie. I think it's sound activated. Yeah, could you just put push to talk just for this exercise and then change it back, man? Um, Alright, so that's yes, about it, guys. So I mean, I could tell you where standard arrow carts are. I mean, usually putting them as far out as possible from the wall just to prevent AoE damage from players um, on top of the supply hut, on top of the dome. Guys, if they're ever trying to treb us, go straight up to the top of the dome or if they've got a close treb, you can throw one up over here. You can throw a treb up here and counter treb if it's close. Uh, usually I put a treb here for catters. If they put catapults up, um, I put a treb up here. If they put a treb up to, to do this, I go straight up to the third floor. Um, because you have the height on them, uh, they need to go pretty far back to get the height uh, equivalent to you uh, to actually counter treb you. So if you just come up here, guys, um, you could jump up here on the top of the dome, throw a throw a treb up, literally, right where I'm standing. Make sure you're facing them, and just build one up here. You could counter treb them. To actually hit you up here, they need to have a treb of equivalent, uh, just account. under equivalent height. So, maybe, you, you guys see where the, the flag is, where the sentry is? Um, if you go directly left, that's where they'd probably have to go minimum to actually pretty to to to, to counter treb you. So it's it's a really good spot, guys. Keep it in mind. Uh, can I get everyone to port to bay, please, quickly? Uh, we so should... just to recap, you want yep. us to go cannons first or fortify first? Cannons, mortars, then fortify, guys. Cannons, okay. mortars, then fortify. Yep. If there's a waypoint involved, go waypoint before fortify. Always, always. Okay. Yep. Uh, in here, guys, let's start on inner quickly. I'm going to tell you quick positions of arrow cards. Pretty sure everyone knows. I like to put one here. It's very, it's it's unseen. You can hit the north gate. You can hit, uh, uh, you can hit uh, people. If, let's say they breach the south gate. Uh, an arrow cart over here can actually hit the supply depot. So hold them in a choke and stuff like that. So it's really nice. Um, you can put them on top of this house, but they're pretty exposed. An arrow cart outside could actually take one of those out very easily. If they peek through the gate, they can take it out with ease. Um, what else? Uh, pretty standard, guys. Um, you want to siege up the Lord's Room. I mean, everyone everyone will do this uh, and know how to do this. Chuck them in the back. You want to put ballistas. Make sure you have line of sight for ballistas. Uh, ballistas usually... I don't like... 
number one, I don't like personally to put uh, blisters at the back of the Lord's Room. I'd prefer having them out here purely because the spread shot can um, can hit effectively and that's um, that's my opinion. Everyone has has a, a commander will throw down siege according to to what he um, he or she uh, feel is necessary or effective. Um, I like putting them out in the open here because in my opinion ballistas to have the spread shot hit need to have a perfect line of sight. I mean if they're surging the Lord's Room you're going to have perfect line of sight. Even if they do take the ballista, um, you're not going to get more than three or four shots on the ballista before they take you out, um, no matter where it is. They're going to train the outside as well. So nine times out of ten, uh, siege in the back of the Lord's Room won't last more than about a minute. Um, it will be effective, but it won't last as long as you think. Um, again, over here, um, you could put a lot of siege guys, a lot of siege to, to defend this. Um, I think from memory, it was this cannon. It's both. I think it was this cannon here. This cannon here, aimed inner towards the gate, boom. There you go. You didn't even need to build arrow carts, guys. You can do Just both. Just use cannons. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That cannon amazing. hits the other side, yeah? That, that other cannon hits the opposite side. It is the best defense for yes. the south By all means, north. guys, I think, I honestly um, think that cannons and mortars are pretty underused. Um, I think we need to get more effective. This mortar here can hit the gate, defended by itself, guys, by itself, can remove siege by itself. Aim it to the left side of the gate to get proper splash damage on left. And aim it to the right to get splash damage on the right. And it's a 50% um, power. Definitely, Actually, yeah, it is. Actually, aiming in the middle usually works pretty well. Well, The there splash you go. damage radius on the water is gigantic. It's... There you go. Uh, it's gonna devastate anything over there. And you yeah, can, definitely. The same with the north inner mortar. You can actually hit the northwest outer gate. Definitely you can. Northeast, definitely can. though, you can't. It's the... The way the shots lined up, it's just a, User it's just a little channel. too hard to hit, unfortunately. If to be honest, the northeast the northeast gate is very easily very easily defended. It's pretty wide open. You don't need to have um uh what are they called? You don't need to have arrow cart in direct sight because of the way the gate is made. Um mm -hmm. you can rain from behind with ease. I mean, I could sit from here and throw an arrow cart up on this wall right there and that is so far back that when you build it you're going to be so well protected I mean it's honestly uh, the the easiest gate to defend you can have a catapult a catapult back here um, just tapping it over the gate uh, over the parapet uh, the P um, and and hit there like there's so many different ways of using siege be creative with it. Um, test them out, guys. That's how I found all these positions. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at this arrow cart, guys. I mean, look how far back it is. And all I need to do is literally rain onto the gate. And that's all you need to do. Um, you could throw siege back, like, as far back as you want. Like, you could throw siege from here. Um, like, back here and still defend the gate. That's pretty far. This mortar, guys, this mortar is so User fucking good. From your I am pretty sure if I turn this to the south gate, uh, to the south gate wall, uh, where they catapult the wall, if they're up against the face of the wall, guys, I'm pretty sure... Is this the mortar? Pretty sure this is the mortar that can hit them. Oh, wow, that was a huge turn that takes forever. Mm-hmm. And if you see somebody, uh, this isn't, uh, it's probably more of a class master stuff, so I'm not sure. But if you see somebody on a mortar trying to turn it, and you have some sort of haste ability you can share, hit them with it. It works wonders on trying to turn yep. mortars and trebs and katas. It's so good for that. Alright guys, it's pretty, pretty simple. I mean, the north, uh, the direct, the north, uh, what you call the northwest gate. I call it just the north gate. This is the northeast gate. Um, the northwest gate, uh, you could just chuck arrow cart on the cliff and not even get anywhere near the gate and defend the gate successfully, um, from anything. Uh, also, the difference between normal and superior arrow cart, guys, 
it's it, it is phenomenal that superior Aracart guys if you're traded properly you could do 3k damage player damage to everyone you hit I mean that is a lot of damage guys that's also not including condition damage and stuff like that that's right that's not including you 100% correct that's just normal standard damage if you're traded properly in your abilities you hit like a train if you have siege might you'll hit even harder uh, if you have increased radius, I mean, you could hit a lot more. <laughs> you could hit a lot more User people at the same the time. All right, guys, uh, port to... Anything else, by the way, before I, I get everyone to port? Yeah. Oh, the counter trip. The counter PG's trip. on port. the inner of hills. Roger. Uh, let's port it's to garrison, few. guys. You'll be fine. Port to garrison. Quickly take supply from here. It's almost... See, you guys? We had 1,400 supply in here. It's almost maxed out again. So everyone take supply from here. And meet me at the South Vista. Since we left there, um, the supply hut at South Hills, um, it's, it's a little hard to get onto if you don't have a speed boost, but if you can get up there and you can place a trip, User it makes a great channel. counter trip for when they put stuff up on the uh, that hilltop at Vale. It can also hit into the camp and and help uh, break any uh, siege um, siege standoff that they have there. It can't hit the ones they put up in Vale to hit Bay, but it can be pretty devastating. That's the outer supply hut. She said. The outer supply hut, correct. And How big is this group? Maybe 10, 12 people. Roger. They're not even on it yet. Oh, okay. Where are they? Derping in the hills somewhere. I don't know, I'm all tabs. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got one ram being built. Yeah, we'll hit them from behind. Wait up, guys, don't go straight in. Um. We're all going together. I mean, everyone should share the bags. That's another good thing to, to let everyone know. Don't rush in. Uh, everyone else should share in the bags. I mean, the more bags, the better. Um, all right, moving in User in three, two, one. Channel. Who's on here? There we go, guys. Oh, they haven't even built anything. Uh, it's weapons free, guys. Weapons free. Just finish them up. Um, Another key thing, guys, when we're defending a keep or sieging a keep, um, if if somebody is, let's say you're sieging a keep, more importantly, everyone go down to the south, uh, dump supplies on that, get it up to max, please. Um, it is faster to down uh, to down a person um, than to wait and burn him. Some people, if are traded, some people are traded to take 50% less damage in down the, down state. So. Um, sometimes finishing them off can be a lot quicker. Um, I usually call out for a Mesma to time warp um, on people that are down. This is useful in offensive and defensive situations. Um, if you need people killed quickly, um, haste it or just finish them off, guys. Finish them off. Don't wait. Um, don't wait to slow burn them to death. I mean, it's, it's pretty stressful. Let's start so, um... on the outer. If you uh, time warp uh, somebody who's reviving a down player, will it help them revive quicker? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Okay. User joined your channel. Pretty standard Aracards, guys. I usually put two superiors and one normal. I mean, two superiors, it should be enough. I throw the extra normal just in case somebody else feels lonely and wants to help them get back. <laughs> Alright, I throw down the I extra one. <laughs> I've oh, recommended uh, not putting arrow, arrow cards right there um, because of a certain Asura. <laughs> they can come over on the other side of hills and just AC this down. So at least have one superior AC over on this other bridge here, on the ramp here. Um, 
just to just in case that they do take that side down. It, I don't like putting siege over there anymore, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, there's a spot right over here. Like if you get up the S ramp here and place an AC right down here, like right below me, over here at the end here. Uh, and if you have extended range, you can actually aim at ACs over here and take them out around the side here. They'll do. Um, this is nice. This is a good AC. I don't, I don't have a doubt about that. But that can be Dragon Tooth. Um, I mean, if no one is manning that, that's the only problem with that. Um, if with you have, if you have, uh, like the extra range AC, you can hit the gate with this, and you can counter in the spot over there. If they use that on you. To, to be honest, be... this this spot, if you put an User arrow cart here. Um, I mean, it's it's good, but the odds of you hitting them, you're gonna burn down the arrow cards slower than the ones on the cliff, uh, the ones on the one that just got built. Um, the only reason I don't see where that superior arrow cart is being built, this over here, this arrow cart, he can actually take that out pretty easily. That is the only reason I put those three there, and I don't know, someone else might have better. Worse experiences than me that um, in this situation um, where the arrow carts got killed, uh, but the ones that I've put down, I don't know. I've never seen them get killed, to be honest. Um, sorry, guys, I'm making my way back into hills. You don't need to jump after me. It's all good. Um, who has who has uh, extended AC? User left your channel. Do you have? Do you have that? You used to be able to put a ballista up here, right here, and hit their rams with it. PRX used to that. User left your channel. I don't know if they nerfed ballista range or what, but... No, no, no they just... It's just easy to hit. Yeah, they, uh... Again, guys... Wave, guys. Well. Sorry, yep, yeah, go on. No, I was just saying. Cannons, cannons, inner cannons. If you go in here, get on the inner cannon, guys. You can defend the north, uh... You can... Excuse me. You can defend the north wall by yourself. The cannon is positioned right here. Right there. Aim that at the northern gate, and boom. They are not building anything. Golems will go down in three shots, no matter what side they're on. Um, you can put arrow carts. I mean, these are pretty standard. Arrow carts here can defend the gate. You don't even need to put them on the wall. Um, one thing that I've come up with, uh, and I've seen work very effectively, especially against, um, see this scatter position up here. See, anywhere up here, guys, you could actually get hit by them. If you just fall down here, put an arrow cart back here, and man it, tilt your, tilt your, uh, tilt your screen up, and boom, you're hitting on them. It is so far that you can't even get, uh, you can't get Dragon Tooth right here. It is pretty far. That's not, that's about... Dragon Tooth is 900 range. This is about maybe 1200, 1100 range, somewhere around here. Um, pretty safe. Uh, even if you rain on the wall, the radius is big enough to rain on the actual arrow cards as well. So, uh, sorry, on the catapults as well. Um, it can also be used uh, for double dip. You can double dip. You can actually use it on the north gate as well. So, something to look for as well, guys. Um, other than that, inner is pretty simple to siege up. Um, only scenario I have ever, ever needed to build a treb in here is because of zoom hacks. Um, and that was inside hills. They had a zoom hack on North User Hills Gate. From your um, no matter where I put an arrow cart, uh, I had, I had them, I promise you, I had arrow cart fire right here. I had arrow cart fire right here. And their, their arrow cart was right outside the gate, literally faced onto the wall. And I had arrow cart fire here. So only time I ever had to build a counter treb was having one here, like out of the, uh, and this one was double, for a double purpose one. You can put it here, aim it at that gate, and you can aim it towards the north gate as well. Sorry, the, the west gate, you can aim it at this, uh, the north gate as well. So... Do you get what I mean? So uh, one treb here can actually defend on both, User both sides. Your channel. Um, 
the splash damage again pretty large. I was able to take out all the rams and I was able to take out the arakats that were on the wall next to the rams. So as you can imagine, it's pretty far. That it's pretty huge. I personally like putting uh, Trev up here for defense just in case they do get in. The and it, a Trev right here can hit that outer wall and take down any katas or anything they put up. It can hit Sorry, where? a Trev up uh, right where the waypoint usually spawns, right where you were. Yep, by the yep. Lordsum. Yeah. Uh, but make sure you put it back here and don't make the mistake of putting it on the bridge because they can AoE it if it's on the bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, rare occasions that I've had to use it, but something for everyone to keep in mind. Um, in case zoom hacks, uh, you face you do face the zoom hacks. Um, Replenishing. Yes, uh, somebody's brought to my attention counter trebs, guys. Uh, Foghaven trebs. Uh, let's move towards there now. Mortar, the outside mortar, that can hit them. Uh, believe me, that can reach that far. Um, and and it's stronger than the trebs as well. If this is up, you don't even need to build a treb, guys. It's right here. Aim it, aim it in the direction of the trebs. You'll be able to see them standing. Aim it in the direction max power. You'll hit them all. Um, if they go too far back, they won't even hit the wall. If they go a little bit too far back, they won't even hit the wall, guys. So, um, it, this will be able to hit them directly. If you guys need a counter treb, um, because for any reason that, that mortar isn't there like now, uh, move up to the vista, right on the edge of the plateau, you can actually, uh, right on the edge of the cliff, you can put up a, a treb. Um... Jump up, jump up. User left and your channel. User left your up channel. Right here. Throw one up right there. Right here. Uh, also, if if this particular keep is stolen supplies and you don't have the people to put a counter trap up, normally our northern ta normally our northern towers are very well taken care of. A treb on the supply hut at uh, Cragtop will hit right there as well. It's a great counter trap spot. Yep. Okay, guys. I mean, the South Towers are pretty, pretty uh, simple, guys. That you, the only thing you can do is, um, hold up, one sec. Hold that, guys. User joined your channel. User left your channel. If you go down to the far south, you could put up a treb to treb lake, um, to lake tower. Um, that's just another thing to keep in mind. Um, Briar has a, a treb that can hit bay. Pretty standard, guys. Um, I'll just show you guys this one quickly. The, the, the Briar one everyone knows. Just throw it up here. Right up here. You can see the tower from here. Hit the far back wall. Uh, the the north hit the the north uh, northwest wall. The one that's slanted. You can see it from here. It's actually slanted, connecting the connecting the north wall and the west wall. So if you see the the diagonal one, hit that wall. That's the one you need to break. Other than that, I'm pretty sure that's uh, pretty standard, guys. Um, Everything else is pretty standard. Uh, we should just move straight into our class masters, get everyone going on that, because I think that's probably more important than anything else right now. And we've taken about an hour and a half, no, we've taken about an hour just talking about the fence. Let's take about the same time, maybe, it uh, doesn't have to be an hour. I mean, if you think you've uh, you've learnt enough, um, you, can, you guys are more than welcome to, to leave. Nothing here is compulsory. Um, Let's get all the class masters uh, into a separate channel. Um, I'll let you guys know where they go. Um, let me see who is online. Um, okay, we've got blind. Can I get the people, the class masters that are online, just to rep the guild, so I know that you're here? All right, we have Ronark, who's taking care of the guardians with Priam. Um, so if you guys, let's say, hold on, let's find the channel. 
Um... All right, you know the PVE channel? Yeah. Uh, there's dungeon one, dungeon two, three, hearts, and whatever it is. Let's use them. User left your channel. User left your channel. User left your channel. User joined so your channel. Sorry, guys. Stay in here. Stay in here. Um, can I get... User left your channel. Can I get Prion and Rona? User left your channel. Oh, wait. All right. Well, Guardians are in number two. So all Guardians, if you want to learn about a Guardian, go to number two. Um, if you want to learn about something else, I'll let you know where everyone else User is. User left your channel. Um, blind Happy, uh, you're going to be doing Engineer, am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Do you want to go down to Dungeon 3, let's say? Okay. Channel switched. User joined your channel. Hello. Hi. It's very lonely being an engineer. Yes.